Today, NASA will announce the winner of a student contest to name the next rover to blast off to Mars. Among the nine finalists on the list, endurance, tenacity, promise, and courage. The rover is set to lift off from Cape Canaveral as early as this July, and this is a NASA animation of the $2 billion mission. Scientists hope it will answer key questions about the Red Planet's mysterious past. Four missions from space agencies across the globe are going to Mars over the summer. And Mark Strassman, who does a lot of cool stories for us, went to Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, where this new rover was built. The last rover to land on Mars eight years ago was aptly named Curiosity. Touchdown confirmed. Still roaming Mars today, Curiosity's findings piqued scientists to dig deeper. Their belief was confirmed. Eons ago, our planetary neighbor could have supported life. Rewind three and a half billion years ago, Mars, we believe, was much more Earth-like. There was much more water, apparently. We can tell that fairly clearly from the geology on Mars. There was water flowing around rivers and lakes and so forth. The big question is, how Earth-like was it? It's the question Ken Williford's team will try to answer. This is called the Spacecraft Assembly. He's the deputy project scientist for NASA's new rover mission. Our job, like Curiosity, was this environment habitable? Was there water there? How much? What was its chemistry? Then we'll go further and we'll say, was there life there? There's a fundamental difference between there could have been life and there was life. Absolutely, yeah. It's a big, big jump there. If Mars hides evidence of past life, Williford's team hopes to find it preserved here, in an ancient river delta at a place called Jezero Crater. The rover will drill into rock to gather more than 20 samples that may hold evidence of past microbial life. But to find out, two more missions will be needed to bring those samples back to Earth. And that could take 10 years. There's got to be a frustrating delayed gratification yeah. with all this. Certainly delayed gratification, yeah. <laughs> it's hard for everybody. <laughs> this latest rover also carries some gee whiz gadgetry, as engineer Mimi Young showed us. You're getting an extraordinary opportunity to see the Mars helicopter. It weighs just under four pounds, the first mini helicopter set to fly on another planet. It carries two cameras, and its flying range is more than a half mile. And if it sounds like just another drone, you try calculating the interplanetary aeronautics required to fly in an atmosphere 100 times thinner than Earth's. Which would be more valuable, the pictures that it takes or proving that it can fly? My very, very personal bias, proving that it flies. <laughs> because that's going to give us the solid foundation to build our ultimate dream, which is just much larger aerial vehicles you know, at Mars. But to Ken Williford, most important is the prospect of discovering ancient signs of life on this now seemingly dead planet. If you find evidence of micro life of any kind yeah. in Mars's distant past, how much of a game changer would that be? Massive implications in my view. Every human being in the history of human beings has had a thought something like, what am I doing here? Where did I come from? You know, what's my place in the universe? Questions now asked about Mars on the only known planet with life. For now. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, Pasadena, California. And the rover will attempt to land on Mars in February of 2021. It will carry an experiment to demonstrate a way to produce oxygen on Mars, which could be huge for future travel there. They want to find out if there was life. If there was, I want to know what happened to it. Yeah, no kidding. Everything, Jezero Crater may hold the secrets. I, I can't wait to, to see what they find there. Yeah. may I'm take a still, while. But. I'm still stuck on the name. I like what they've chosen. So the final is Tenacity and Endurance. I like both of those. I want to know. No one that. asked me, but I like both of those. I want to see whether that helicopter flies. Yeah. That's what I yeah. want to see. Very, Very fascinating cool. stuff, Mark. Really cool stuff.